Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, a couple of people said, go go and look at the Quentin Wilson and Ewan McTurk uh, podcast, where Ewan McTurk is talking about batteries and other things, and he's a... Uh, Ewan McTurk is a electro-battery chemist. Is that, said that right? <laughs> I'll probably be there anyway. Um, so, if anybody's aren't EV, auntie EV, and they come on this video, and they want to argue against a person who is an electrochemist for batteries and stuff like that, right? Then stop it. Stop it. I know you're going to go into anyway, but stop it. <laughs> right. Now, before I get to the point, um, I want to uh, just show this person who commented on my last video. Uh, he said YouTube is keeping all his uh, comments hidden. So I'll put his comments by the side of me by here. Or maybe by the side of me by here. It might be there, or it might be by here. It'll be by there, <laughs> one side or the other. I'll put them there just to show that I can see all your comments. And somebody said before, if you can't see your comments, click newest, I think it is, or something like that, and they'll all show up. And now this person, I think he's by here, I might be by there, the comments I put up, he's saying <laughs> that YouTube, it's censoring him. The weird things he was putting on there. Uh, come on, mate. Sort yourself out. His first comment he made, I don't think I've put that up, but his first comment was a bit suspicious. It was like he was leading on to something. Turns out he's a conspiracy theorist and all he wanted to go on about was, was the government uh, trying to control everybody with electric cars. Stop it. <laughs> If the government's trying to control everybody with electric cars, why are electric cars getting so much better with longer ranges and better batteries? If the government was, try was trying to control us, uh, would they be allowing electric cars to get cheaper and better? Come on, sort it out, man. Come on now, right? So anyway, you can see by his comments that he, he was going a bit doolally, thinking that YouTube was trying to... <laughs> He, he thought YouTube had a conspiracy against him as well. It's not that YouTube hasn't got a conspiracy against you. It's just you can't find, if you go blabbing on and on and on, sometimes you can't find it in certain circumstances. But I've seen them all. And it just looked like you were talking to yourself. Anyway, now with that aside, and you can, I've shown you that it's not a conspiracy, I could see them. I could see them. Don't panic, okay? It's not a cover-up. Um, what I'm looking at here is... Uh, Electric vehicles can claim a 15-year warranty. 15 years! Not 8 years. 15 years. Right? Oh, all oh, these bloody EVs, they only got a 15-year warranty. <laughs> right? So, no, so I, let's go back to Ewan McTurk. I hope I'm saying his na name right. Uh, so, Quentin Wilson and Ewan McTurk, they were talking, and they were talking about batteries and, and such and forth. And he said that the, the, the sort of, the, the reason why people think batteries only last five years is for a couple of reasons. The first reason was that the Nissan Leaf didn't have any battery thermal management. So some of them batteries do suffer with degradation. Okay, now um, the other thing he said was that people think that like mobile phones, they think mobile phones have got the same chemistry and the the batteries are the same in mobile phones as they are in cars but look my phone hasn't got any sort of thermal well it probably got some sort of cooling plate or something but there's no liquid cooling going on, on there and there's not there's no battery management system which is as sophisticated as an electric car and the chemistry is slightly different in a phone to what it is in a car so there we go right so there's that's that out of the way um uh so he was talking about Quentin Wilson was asking about how long do batteries last and we're talking about modern batteries now because we're not talking about the Nissan Leafs okay um, or the leaves the Nissan Leaves <laughs> um, Nissan Leafs we're not talking about them because they weren't um, they didn't have any sort of proper cooling systems or heating up systems okay um, so he was saying he was talking to Quentin Wilson and he said that the modern battery uh, the, the the sort of number he checked out was 300,000 miles, but he said that's, that's on a, the conservative side. 
uh, it should be way more than over 300,000 miles for a battery. Um, and he said it should be much more with the modern ones. And they're getting better and better. He said, uh, as it advances, these batteries are lasting longer and longer. OK? And in front of me, it says, electric cars can claim 15-year warranty, a CATL, out a million-mile battery. Ooh, 15-year warranty? Is that all? A million miles? Ooh, my diesel can do 200 million miles on one end, on the same clutch. <laughs> it's always somebody uh, will say, no, actually, actually, saying that, there is somebody who's got a Ford, oh, what's he got? He got like a Mark One Ford Mondeo. I did read it somewhere. If I, if I if I can remember the article, I'll pull it up. And his car is just about to get to a million miles. Now, <laughs> that is uh, one in a million, I suppose. <laughs> There's not many Ford Sierras that can do a million miles. Uh, I think a lot of things have been changed on it. I think he got different gearbox and stuff. Um, but anyway, there is a it is a million mile Ford. Mondeo, the Mark One, I think it is. I don't, I don't know if it's a diesel or a pet. It must be a diesel. It's a taxi, anyway, right? But I think lots of things have been changed. But we're talking about an electric vehicle that can claim 15-year warranty, a 15-year warranty on a battery, uh, a million miles without and without zero degradation after a thousand cycles. Now, a thousand cycles would mean. Um, oh, that's another reason. I wanted to say another reason as well <laughs> is. The first Nissan Leafs, or Leaves, or whatever you want to call them, only had a 24 kilowatt hour battery, okay? Now, if you've got a small battery, you're going to have more cycles, okay? More cycles in a small battery, because obviously, if it only does, just, just say Nissan Leaf, the, the original battery, only did 100 miles, a roundabout, okay, right? Whereas a bigger battery, say a Tesla Model 3, will do 300 miles. Is, and the Nissan Leaf did 10,000 miles and the Tesla did 10,000 miles. The Tesla is going to have much less cycles on that battery than the Nissan Leaf would have had. Also, the, the Tesla's got all the thermal management and everything. So you can see there's a massive difference between the first Nissan Leafs and modern modern cars. And the chemistry's a little bit different. So anyway, I'm waffling now. So this is about CTA, CATL and the million mile battery, or 1.5 million kilometers. Um, and to have a thousand cycles without any degradation at all is, is crazy because, like I said, a thousand cycles could mean a thousand cycles of a Tesla, but say, a, say, a, say 350 mile battery capacity, a thousand cycles, if I'm right in saying this, would give you 350,000 miles without any degradation. Blinking heck. Are they having a laugh? <laughs> so it says that, um, it does say here that these 15 year warranty million mile batteries are going in buses first of all. Uh, it says Utong buses are getting a 15 year battery. So when it says 15 year, now 15 year warranty doesn't mean the battery's gonna stop at 15 years. It just means it's a 15 year EV warranty and I think they say in that after 15 years and a million miles I've read it somewhere uh, it says after 15 years and after covering a million miles they're still gonna um, guarantee 85% only 85% degradation after 15 year lifespan and covering 1.5 million kilometers which is crazy. That's crazy. That's crackers, isn't it? Now they are saying on this on this year that they want to put that into cars. Now, CATL do supply Neo with battery swap batteries, and they've given them batteries a twelve year warranty. So, uh, people are going to come in the comment section now who hate EVs, and they're going to say, which well, what they always say is. How is that going to help me if I'm buying a car now? Well, it'll help you in the future, when you buy a car in the future, because you love that car. Um, so that's why. The same the same as if they build a better petrol car today, okay, that is a better engine, better technology, 
when you buy a second hand, that's how it helps you. So why 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 are these people asking me why newer battery technology will help them today? It's a bit of a stupid question, isn't it? I mean, the question answers answers itself. So uh, it says by mum's the word on the exact chemistry that CATL is using, but no one is history. History. The new 15-year EV battery is probably a product of perfecting existing technologies. And I think these batteries that CATL are coming out with as well have less chance of catching fire. So, imagine the future. 15-year warranty on a battery, does a million miles <laughs> and doesn't catch fire. There's one for the anti-EV people to get annoyed about. So, that's, that's why I, I think it's... No, um, the Electric Viking did cover this story yesterday and it would have been April Fool's Day when he covered it. And it's April Fool's Day today, isn't it? Um, but this is not an April Fool's. <laughs> it's not an April Fool's because this was published on the 28th uh, of March 2024 and I've seen it published in other places. Uh, well, I hope it's not an early April Fool's but they're not talking about cars, they're talking about buses and a 15-year warranty. So anyway, it doesn't look like it's an April Fool's. The thing is, April Fool's crumbs and you can't trust anything, can you? <laughs> so there we go. So was it an early April Fool's? I don't think so, because that came out that came out uh, on the 28th. And I think a few more come out today. So hopefully it's true. <laughs> anyway. If you like a million mile battery, and if you like a 15 year warranty, and if you like batteries don't catch fire anymore, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy! Hey.